Hello and good Sunday one and all. Welcome to yet another edition of the Cliff Ellis Show. I'm your host Brandon Dunn along with Coastal Carolina men's basketball coach Cliff Ellis. One game on the docket for the Shants this week, a home game against App State. A big opportunity coach, one that you guys definitely needed to basically win considering that you're on a three game losing skid heading into that. So it was really a game that you guys had to have. Well, I think it was an important game. I think the most important thing for us is to try to get healthy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you can't control injuries. You can't control things that happen to you. And we've had to play uh, limping in, so to speak. Right. And we've played with a lot of heart and vigor. But I think today we saw the potential and the possibilities of what this team can do. So we don't look at, you know, what has happened. We try to play each game and go from there and take it one game at a time. But I think today we saw uh, that if we, I think the first 10 minutes of this game, we could have beaten anybody. Oh, yeah. and, and it doesn't matter who it was, we could have beaten them. We got to find a way to do that for 40 minutes. Deba and DJ back in the starting lineup. Nice to have those guys back. I'm assuming when you put them in that lineup, you had a pretty big smile on your face. Well, it's just a matter of letting them get healthy. They've only been back with us for a week and a half. Uh, and uh, we would have won a lot of games. Our record wouldn't be what it is today if, if we had those guys healthy. But you can't look at that. It's just something you can't control. Now it's get them back and let's win as many games as we possibly can. But our fans got to see some exciting basketball from our team. And there were, there were some freshmen in there that the future sure looks bright with. All right, let's go right to these highlights. And Coach just alluded to it just a few minutes ago. One of the best starts we've seen from this team this year. You guys jump out to a great start. And it all starts with Amadou Bamba. Down low gets the dunk and the crowd's in it. And you guys are off and running. Well, we get it inside and get it low. And our defense is making the difference, Brandon. Our defense with AJ and, and with uh, 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 Ebo and DJ, yeah, it, it's, it's going to be pretty hard to get by those guys. They're not going to give you anything easy, and it sets a tone, and uh, it's a great thing to have. You and your team limited App State to one possession there for about six minutes, and they couldn't capitalize on anything, and your defense was doing great. The rebounding was phenomenal. Well, we were able to trap some ball screens, and we were able to get and pick up some steals, and uh, – uh, we got to them early, uh, and we always talk about how the first five minutes are key. And we jumped out there, and uh, uh, I thought we had a great start. Then I think the conditioning of Ebo and DJ started coming into play because now, you know, there's so much energy. They hadn't been playing long. They're so pumped up and excited. But as you go, you know, you're conditioning the first five minutes, you're fresh. Mm -hmm. But as the game goes, you're starting to get a little bit tired, and that defense is not exactly where – it needs to be, and as we go throughout this game, we're going to see Appalachian State make a couple of runs, and they do it with a three-point barrage, and they can definitely do that. Uh, but our defense certainly set the tone early. DJ was uh, playing extremely well early on, so you could tell that he was ready to go as he hits a two, and then Bama comes back and he hits a bucket as well. Zach Cuthbertson would end a 10-0 run to start the game coach in the first four minutes with a three, and you guys were up 10 nothing. Well, it was 10 nothing, and uh, our, our defense has created some things, and we're making shots, and when you make that shot, the hole gets bigger and, you know, opportunities are there. The streak continues. Tommy Burton continuing to play extremely well, Coach. And then uh, Deba coming in and hits a two in the paint, and you're up 14 to nothing. Well, it, it, when you can spot them 14, you feel pretty good, but you know Appalachian State's going to make a run. You held this team scoreless, Coach, until the 13-34 mark. That's phenomenal. Well, it's phenomenal, but from there on, they scored too many <laughs> points. Uh, so what I'm saying is, okay, we did that, but... That's where our conditioning with guys being out, I think, made a difference. We kind of lost our swag, and when we let them make a couple of shots, uh, they got back into the game. Josh Coleman, haven't seen much of him in the last couple of weeks, but he came in today, set the tone early, back-to-back -back buckets. Nice to have him in there. Well, his defense is there. It, he's a plus for us on the defensive side because he gives us some things with these guys uh, that's, a, that's a backstop. And... Uh, you know, and, and when he has a good run, it gives him confidence. And he did, he played his best game this year, no question. Zach Cutherson, another two in the paint, another solid outing from your senior forward. At that point, Coach, you were up 20, and the fans were feeling pretty good. But I know you being a coach probably thought, hey, this, this is far from over. Well, just, we'll just watch the three-point <laughs> barrage. You, I'll let you take it from here because you're going to see my Appalachian State. Now, this is the same team that beat us 16 points here last year. 
Same group, same group, same group. And, uh, you know, for us to win by 17, that shows the improvement uh, from one year to the next. So there's some good things ahead. We've got a lot of work to do, but you're going to see some three-point shots the rest of the until the half's <laughs> over. <laughs> All right, well, the App State does uh, cut the lead. It's still a double-digit lead, though, of the half. So I'm assuming when you went into halftime, Coach, your message was continue to play because this App State team's coming back. Well, they already cut it down. I mean, we, we'd shut them out, and they cut it down. And, and in the second half, we got to get this first five minutes to try to make some things happen because they are going to make a run. And you got to you got to cut the turnovers out. And, and I thought we fouled too much in the first half. They were scoring off the foul line, and we needed to cut that out. As you start the second half, this team, your team, still had the momentum, still was playing well. But as we hit about the, you know, I'd say the 18-minute mark, things kind of changed a little bit because then App State started going on a run. They did. And, uh, you know, we talk about the first five minutes of each half. We, had, we controlled the first five minutes of the first half. Uh, they control the first five minutes of the second half. So uh, it's it's part of the learning experience. Uh, Appalachian State came out ready to go. Forrest hits a three. Then Johnson comes back and hits a two. Before you know it, Coach, that double def deficit uh, was gone. It was a it was a two-point game. Well, and that's what Appalachian State does. Experienced players know what to do. Uh, they made some big shots, especially from the three-point line, and they were – they were deadly. We told our team, though, these threes are not going to go all night, but you got to quit backing up. You got to get up tighter and take that three pointed shot away because they're feeling it. The hole's bigger. Mm -hmm. You got to get up on them a little bit tighter. I'm assuming that's what you said to them at the timeout because you called you a timeout it. when you it was a two point it. game and you said, hey, we can still play this game. We can still win this game. And your team responded. It's the best I've seen them respond considering how well App State was playing at that moment. All the right. mojo was on their side. You stopped it, the defense played well, and all of a sudden the bucket starts going in. Well, and we, we adjusted our defense, and, and it paid off, and there was no looking back once we made this next run. And that run starts with a uh, Zach Cuthbertson two-point bucket to push the lead back out to five. Gums Freighter comes back with a three. That sets it out to ten. And then before you know it, it was 68-54 on a Tommy Burton dunk. Well, now we've got it going. Now it's a matter of, we told them, I said, look, they're not going to go away unless you continue to play defense, and, and we continue to play. Amadou Bamba playing his best game I've seen in the last couple games. Been struggling a little bit, but he played well today. He did. He got rebounds for us and played good defense and made some good buckets. Coming down the stretch, Coach, you guys would build another double-digit lead, put it back into the 20 range, right. and you'd end up winning this one by 17. Uh, a big win for this program as you guys would take care of business and snap that three-game losing skid. Well, I think, once again, our defense was the key, and I think we're getting our team back. Coastal Carolina wins it 89-72. Zach Cutherson, 24 points, seven boards. A.J. Sanders poured in 14 a nice outing from both of your seniors. Hey, we, your senior leadership is critical, and uh, they both they all played well. They all every senior played well. You know, AJ played well. Uh, you know, Zach played well. Josh Coleman played well, and that's what you want. All right, we caught up with Zach Cuthbertson and DJ after the game to get their comments and their thoughts on winning this game and heading that mojo before they go to Arkansas next week. We needed this win at home. Um, I'm happy to um, have DJ and Ebo back. Uh, we played great as a team tonight. Uh, hopefully we keep playing that way for the rest of the year. AJ hit a lot of big threes. You know, Zach hit a couple big threes. You know, we really fed off the crowd. So um, appreciate the crowd for coming out. Um, it was just, we just learned from, from our mistake coming in the half. You know, we came out a little slow, but we soon picked it up after the um, timeout. So, Coach, the players just alluded to, uh, you know, nice to get that win, kind of get the monkey off your back, so to speak. Uh, played well, and you have the mojo as you head on this two-game road swing to Arkansas. We do, and uh, it's going to be tough battles. Uh, Arkansas Little Rock is, is such a vastly improved team. Uh, they have a transfer from Florida Gulf Coast who I think is one of the better players in the league. They've got size inside. Uh, they've got a highly recruited point guard uh, that is in. Uh, Arkansas State is an improved team. And what we know about the Arkansas schools is having been there, their crowds really understand the game. Uh, Arkansas, the state of Arkansas loves basketball mm -hmm. and uh, kind of goes back to those Nolan Richardson days oh, yeah. at, with the Razorbacks. And it's, uh, 
a small state that loves basketball. Prior to the game today, Coach, uh, you made an announcement, the program made an announcement that David Crawls had in fact transferred, decided to leave, go back to uh, Sweden, his home, uh, his home country. Um, what happened in that situation? What transpired over the week? Well, you know, David is, is, a, is a fine young man who came to the States. He was just a freshman. I was disappointed that he did it. I didn't think the timing was good uh, with regards to it, uh, at least finish the season out. But he's decided, apparently, uh, we don't know this for sure, but the word is that he's going back and sign a contract when he gets there and play professionally back home. And, uh, you know, it's a time that all of our coaches are in with the one and dones and the uh, guys going pro and doing that kind of stuff. You know, and he's from another country. Maybe the degree doesn't mean as much to him uh, as a degree would mean to others. But, you know, we wish him well. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I'm disappointed, uh, but at the same point in time, we move on. Mm -hmm. And I think our team uh, certainly today did not miss him because our defense was pretty strong and pretty solid. But we got two players back, but not only did we lose David Crow, but David Pierce in practice uh, hurt his hand and had to have some surgery. So we lost two more players. Uh, so it's just one of those things where you just have to strap the belt on, buckle it up, and uh, – Next up, guy, get out there and get the job done. Does it change your philosophy recruiting European players with the system the way it is? Well, you always, always, like Duke or anybody else, you want guys that want to play pro. You know, mm -hmm. you got to have players that's Jimmy Joe's more so than the X's and O's. You just want them to do their part. And, uh, you know, David comes from a good family. I, I thought that he, uh, I thought that in four years he could be at a higher level and uh, be able to play but uh, apparently he's decided to uh, not opt on that position and go go ahead and get it done. So we wish him well, and it's time for us to move on. All right, it's time for us to move on. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to feature uh, another senior, A.J. Sanders, his final year here at Coastal Carolina. That's coming up when we return. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by HTC. At Logan's Roadhouse, we grill up sizzling Southern-inspired flavor using time-honored recipes we've collected and perfected over time. From the inviting aromas of our wood-fired grilled steaks to our delicious from scratch dishes with seasonings you can see, we know how to bring out food's true flavor. And when you pair our food with an ice-cold beer or our handcrafted Roadhouse tea, you'll understand why Logan's Roadhouse is much more than a restaurant. Come to where steak rules the road. Logan's Roadhouse. Buckham on Land and Timber has been serving the Grand Strand since 1982. The ultimate goal of Waccamaw on Land and Timber is the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. If you're looking for a place to relax, hunt, or fish, the professionals at Waccamaw on Land and Timber can find you the perfect recreational property. Call 449-0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Waccamaw on Land and Timber. For more than 60 years, HTC has been delivering worldwide connections from right here in our community. A community our employees are proud to support in every way, from coaching Little League sports to local fundraisers and quarterly blood drives. We sponsor and support the community and our school systems, recognizing greatness along the way. It's a commitment we take seriously, all to strengthen the connections here in our community. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. As the official orthopedic providers of Coastal Carolina University Athletics, the doctors of Ortho SC offer the specialized orthopedic care needed to keep athletes and their fans in the game. If bone, joint, or muscle pain is keeping you from doing what you love, get the care that Shantz Trust and see the experts at Ortho SC. To learn more about Ortho SC's providers and services or to request an appointment online, visit orthosc.org. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Yellowwood Pressure Treated Pine. Welcome back here to the Cliff Ellis Show. A.J. Sanders entering his final season here as a Shauna Claire coach. What can you say about A.J.? He's just gotten better every year he's been here. Heart, soul, leader, wants to win. Doesn't care if he's playing or not. And uh, he's just a winner. 
I mean, he's those kind of guy. You want your son to be like he is. He just hard nosed, plays defense. You know, offensively he can shoot the basketball. Uh, he rebounds for us. Tremendous guy. I mean, he really has done a great job helping lead this team. I'm very proud of him. And he played so well uh, in this game against uh, Appalachian State. When we were when we lost a couple of guys, he mm -hmm. stepped up to the plate, led our team. All right, here's more on A.J. A.J. Sanders has embarked on his final year at Coastal Carolina. The North Carolina native eager to do what's needed to help this team win and achieve their goal of reaching the NCAA tournament. I'm going to do anything in my power I can to win, whether it's like getting loose balls, scoring, playing defense, rebounding. I'm going to do whatever it takes to win because I want to make it to the tournament before I leave. Sanders signed with only Central College out of high school. After two years with the Knights, Sanders signed with Coastal, saying the decision was one of the best he's made during his career. It's actually been better than I expected it to be. I, found, I fell in love with this campus in high school, and then like, actually being here is like 10 times better. During the offseason, the shots added former standout Warren Gillis to the staff. His addition has been vital to Sanders' success. The knowledge he brings has been a major plus to help Sanders become the best he can be. He's helped me tremendously because he's a smart player and he was a great player himself. So like, he just put me through little things and he talks to me throughout the game of things he sees and like what I should do or what he suggests I do out there. Like He's helped me grow a lot as a player. The Stinton Conway has given Sanders a chance to grow both on and off the court. Life lessons he'll use long after basketball. Well, I've learned a lot being here, but like honestly, he's helped me grow as an individual. Like he's taught me like certain things like you can use basketball and take it and put it towards your life. The goals remain the same, win a conference title, a tournament title, and reach the NCAA tournament. If Sanders and the Shots can achieve the trifecta, the dream of reaching the big dance will be achieved and a chance to play for a national title will be realized. We got some key players out, they're going to be returning from injury and everyone else starting to gel and mess together at the right time. I think we got a good chance to win the conference and make it to the NCAA tournament this year. Coach, you know, being around AJ the last couple of years, the one thing that I've noticed about him is his personality. Just a good guy, fun to be around. Well, he's a great guy. He's always wearing a smile, always wearing a smile. He's always asking, how you doing today, Coach? You know, he just makes you feel good. He's a feel-good person, and you want that kind of guy as a leader on your team. He does that with our guys. Okay, let's go. Let's make things happen. Very proud of AJ and what he's done with this team. All right, well, they got A.J. for could be quite possibly another two months. That would be good. That means yeah. you're in the tournament and things are going well. Absolutely. We'll see what happens. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about another senior in Josh Coleman. We'll be right back here on The Cliff Ellis Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by the Britton Law Firm. Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the nightly specials and how much they enjoy the live music. But when you experience that incredible waterfront view, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. At its heart, above all else, A&I has had a long-standing commitment to the community. Our driving force is our dedication to the people we serve. From Myrtle Beach to Florence. Wilmington to Charleston. Every job is different and every community is unique. No matter what disaster has brought us to you, it's our commitment that will keep us here. We're proud to be celebrating 40 years of service to the Carolinas. And we're looking forward to 40 more. Locals love Creek Rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. Waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. When you bring the indoors outdoors, there are no rules. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Ortho SC. All right, folks, welcome back here to the Cliff Ellis Show. We're talking about another senior now in Josh Coleman entering his final season here as a Shauna Claire. Been here a long time. It seems like Josh has been here 
like a decade, but it it's only been a couple of years. Uh, but he has really done extremely well under your system and been a good player for you. He's been a great player for us as far as work ethic. He comes to play at practice. He's hard-nosed. He's the most physical guy we have on our team. He brings us defense. He brings us screening. He brings us rebounding. Uh, Saturday he scored. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he's a guy that uh, is, it does very well academically. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's a guy that... Uh, puts forth every ounce of energy he does with the game of basketball, and he's a good person off the court. The thing about Josh that, uh, that, that I'm impressed with is he knows his role, and he's yeah. fine with his role. You know, he, he understands that his time's going to come, and if it's not coming, then he's going to wait his time. That's true, and uh, you know, he wants it so bad, sometimes he will get overexcited, and we're just trying to get him where he'll just tone down and just go play the game and have some fun. But he certainly had his best game uh, against Appalachian State, and I was happy to see that. All right, here's more on Josh Coleman. Josh Coleman has been a staple at Coastal Carolina for the past several years. A young man who has enjoyed his time being a shot, but still has several things to accomplish. Well, I think from all the uh, experience that I've had from on the court and off the court that I um, that really had a good feeling of what it's like to uh, play as a, as a team member instead of as a, um, an individual and be more cooperative around uh, the people that I'm working with. The experience at Coastal has been as expected. The weather, a big factor, and the chance to play collegiate basketball at a high level, another reason why the Georgia native decided on CCU. It's been pretty nice. It's about the same expectations I expected as, I, um, as when I first came as a freshman. Cliff Ellis pleased with the senior's production, his dedication, and willingness to learn. Key components to becoming a solid player. His work against App State, the best of the season something Ellis alluded to Saturday afternoon. There's a lot of big guys at Appalachia State. They had a seven-footer, they had a 6'10 guy in there. Josh matches up a little bit, a little bit better with some of those people we do, and, and I, his experience played. He played his best game of the year. When not on the court, you can find Coleman outside or in the pool. The senior enjoying the water and the warm Carolina weather. It's like being in the water, honestly, when I'm not playing basketball. Enjoy being outside mostly. I don't do much outside from there. I just do that and just hang out with friends, really. Coleman, like many others on this team, expect to end the year with a title. Expectations are high, and a title is the first of many goals the senior would like to accomplish. I think we have a really good chance to accomplish this year. We've, uh, we've had you know, mix and match teams every year for uh, my four years going on here, but um, I think this team has a really good chance of uh, getting the getting the big prize this year well you know that is one thing that I've noticed about Josh is he's kind of a hype, hyped up kid yep. he, he uh, a lot like Tommy Burton he's excited and yep. he gets fired up about things he brings it but you like that energy but if he's loose and he's out of control you better get out of the way he's gonna take you out <laughs> <laughs> well yeah he's kind of like, he's, he's kind of like a truck out there uh, at times uh, but you got him for another uh, two or two months quite possibly um, so I'm assuming that when you brought him in, you, you really knew what you were getting from him, and, and, and I'm assuming you've been pleased by, by what he's done for you. He's made progress, and uh, certainly he's just been, he's been the guy that, even though he hadn't played a tremendous amount of time in his four years, every day at practice he brings it and makes our guys better, and we appreciate that. And, and Josh has given us good minutes uh, over the four years that he's been here. All right, time for another quick break. On the back side of this break, we're going to talk about the road ahead. It's a trip to Arkansas. That's coming up when the Cliff Ellis Show rolls on. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Creek Rats. So totally free checking is completely free? Yes, sir. Right. Next, you'll tell me there's free online banking. Actually, there is. Free online bill pay? Mm-hmm. No way I can get a free quick card, debit card, the instant I open an account. Check. Yeah, check. Like, free first order of checks? All included. What? And a free gift? And a free gift. Come in today and sign up for Crestcom's totally free checking. Stop by any of our convenient locations. I'm on candid camera, right? As the official orthopedic providers of Coastal Carolina University Athletics, the doctors of Ortho SC offer the specialized orthopedic care needed to keep athletes and their fans in the game. If bone, joint, or muscle pain is keeping you from doing what you love, get the care the shots trust and see the experts at OrthoSC. To learn more about OrthoSC's providers and services or to request an appointment online, visit orthosc.org. For more than 60 years, HTC has been delivering worldwide connections from right here in our community. 
a community our employees are proud to support in every way, from coaching Little League sports to local fundraisers and quarterly blood drives. We sponsor and support the community and our school systems, recognizing greatness along the way. It's a commitment we take seriously, all to strengthen the connections here in our community. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Another trial, another battle. Where's your strength? Tenacity. What's your history? Fighting for my clients in court. But what sustains me now is working with three of the finest individuals I've ever known. My family. There's power in family. Power for our clients. Fighting for your rights is my family's business. Britain Law. Born to fight, bred to win. At Logan's Roadhouse, we grill up sizzling Southern-inspired flavor using time-honored recipes we've collected and perfected over time. From the inviting aromas of our wood-fired grilled steaks to our delicious from scratch dishes with seasonings you can see, we know how to bring out food's true flavor. And when you pair our food with an ice-cold beer or our handcrafted Roadhouse tea, you'll understand why Logan's Roadhouse is much more than a restaurant. Come to where steak rules the road. Logan's Roadhouse. The Cliff Hello Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timber. And welcome back. It is a road trip for the Shauna Clares this week off to Arkansas for two. You got Little Rock on Thursday, Coach, and then you turn around and go to beautiful Jonesboro, Arkansas to take on Arkansas State. Let's talk about Little Rock first. A team that in the past has been very, very good, yep. especially at their place, and I'm yep. assuming that you expect another dogfight. There's no doubt about that. This is a very good team. They've got a new coach in Daryl Walker. You'll remember him from Razorback days, and you know he's got a good team. And uh, uh, they come at you. Um, they play a Razorback style of basketball, mm -hmm. which they're going to get after you and you know try to take you on the break. And then Arkansas State, you know, they're going to basically do the same thing. And uh, as we alluded to earlier, these fans totally understand the game uh, in the state of Arkansas. So you got to play the six man when you go here. Uh, so it's going to be a tough contest, but I know that we're ready to play. Um, and uh, we're, we, as you said, we've got the mo mojo on our side mm -hmm. and we want to take it in and try to make something happen on the road. What is it about Arkansas State there that, that concerns you about the way they play at home? Well, I think that uh, they're more confident. Uh, they, they, when you're at home, you shoot the ball better, as a rule, as a rule. It doesn't always mean that, but they know every piece of wood that's on those floors, and they seem to shoot the basketball a lot better at home. Tell me how crucial this road swing is for you yeah. as you sit right now yeah. uh, in this conference. I, we're just worrying about getting our team healthy. We're still not there. I want to get our team where we can be the best that we can be, and we've we still got some conditioning to go through. We're not where we need to be. As I've said, you know, when we went through these injuries, it's probably going to be February before we get them back. And whatever we can do between now and then, you know, is, is important to us. And uh, we want to go on this road and make some things happen. Coach and myself will be back here this time next week on Sunday at noon right here on ABC 15 as Coach and I break down the two games in Arkansas. That's going to do it, though, for this week. Have a fantastic weekend. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Burroughs and Chapin. When you bring the indoors outdoors, there are no rules. on at Broadway at the Beach. Specializing in one-of-a-kind shopping, shoppers will find treasures of every kind from unique gift shops you won't find anywhere else to nationally recognized names. And while shopping, don't forget to refuel at one of more than 20 mouth-watering restaurants and eateries where you can choose from the all-American hamburger and milkshake to fajitas and sushi. Broadway is also home to spectacular attractions and live entertainment. For more information, visit broadwayatthebeach.com. Broadway at the Beach, positively awesome. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Crestcom Bank. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Ortho SC. 